Everybody in here? Yep. The hair's doing whatever this morning. Sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all you. It's going to be a drive day today, so I'm probably going to be inside for most of the day. But I got to go out and check the chickens and see if they left me any eggs. I went over to Mr. Lucas yesterday, and uh, his leghorn had laid him two more eggs, so he hadn't checked in a couple of days. And I got in there, and where they're laying eggs is underneath the roost way in the back of, of the coop. So you got to get on your knees and crawl in there and get them. So I got him uh, his two eggs yesterday. So anyways, oh, oh gosh, I got this big piece of carpeting. Judy, what are you doing? Um, I've got to, I just got to move some stuff around and, and whatnot. Uh, I got to vacuum the carpeting that's down already. I'm going to leave it there, uh, just for extra insulation. So yeah, I'm going to have to move the stones by the fireplace and everything around just to be able to fit this rug in here, but I think it's going to work a lot better. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's just get this day going. Okay, I got to test something out. I turned the camera thingy around in settings so that when I hold things up like this, it reads right on the screen and it's not backwards. And so it doesn't look like I rearranged my, you know, area back there and whatnot. So I'm going to make some, a big pot of chicken noodle soup today. I didn't do it yesterday, so it's going to be done today. And I also uh, took some footage yesterday of when I went out to check the chickens, if they left me any eggs. And I'm going to show you that first, and then I'm going to go out and check them again and see if I got more eggs. So hopefully I'm going to have enough to pickle some eggs. Look at here, guys. These eggs were laid over the last four days. These two I collected today. Those two yesterday, this the day before, and this the day before that. Um, some of them are different sizes. You can see these aren't super duper big, but some of them are bigger than others. This one today, look at that. It doesn't hardly even fit inside <laughs> this, this egg carton. Let me put them like this and just show you the difference in sizes. Look at that. Look at that. Oops, focus. That's a big egg, you guys. So I officially have a half a dozen eggs all at once. And you know what? <sighs> I may wait till tomorrow to see if I get two more, but I want to pickle some eggs. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pickle all of these eggs and tomorrow's eggs, and they are going to be delicious. Here's a photo that shows the two eggs that were laid yesterday side by side, clearly by two different leghorns. The one on the right, I don't know, you guys. I wonder if it's a double yoker. I still want to pickle it, but so I've got to go outside now and see what the chickens have left me, if anything. Sorry, I forgot to film them um, coming out. Looks like they need some new water, and so let's take a two more eggs. Look at that. Oh, they're beauties. They're beauties. I'm going to compare their size to the other ones. All right, here they are. Two new eggs right next to these other ones. These are a little bit smaller, more like this. I bet you that's a double yoker. Question is, should I wait another day? Because there is eight eggs, and I think I can fit... I don't know. In a pint, I think I can fit eight. In a quart, I can fit just about a dozen. I'm going to have to think about this. I want to pickle some eggs, but I want to pickle them all at once. So, hmm, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm going to wait another day. Yeah, because these are all pretty recent. Yeah, I'm going to wait another day. If I can get two more eggs, oh, that's going to be great. What about four more eggs? I just love pickled eggs, and I have not made them in so long, and I have not made them with any of my chicken's eggs, so I'm definitely going to do it. I just wanted to show you this beautiful pot of chicken noodle soup that I'm making. I put the big can of chicken down in there that Marietta sent me, and also used one of the cans of mixed vegetables, and some pasta noodles, and some chicken bouillon, and some seasoning, salt, pepper, no salt, I didn't add salt. Uh, and some thyme and some uh, 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 sage and rosemary, and it's almost done. Tons of that look delicious. Have you ever been asking about what happened with the puppy? Because he wasn't in the last video. Well, he's still here. Judy is <laughs> ruling supreme over him. He's just so chill. He just likes to 
you know, kind of relax. But he plays with Judy when he feels like it. And he loves to go outside and he comes to me. Hey, Papa, let me see your pretty face. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, you're going to the vet tomorrow. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous for you. Oh, come on, Judy. <laughs> Judy's nervous, too. It is freezing cold outside, and it is supposed to rain, so my bones are aching. So I just built myself a nice fire. It is warm and toasty in here, and I love using this so much more than the propane, because the propane, like I've told you before, so much moisture in the air. Like my camouflage hat that I keep hanging not far from where I let the propane heater sit, it feels damp. <laughs> it feels wet. So, yeah, it's going to be wood-burning stove here for as much as possible. Um, you can kind of hear it sizzling, those bigger logs on the left and the right, because they're kind of green. <laughs> but they'll burn. They will burn. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm going to take it easy today, probably just stay inside, do some stuff, learn my phone more, because it's I have a bunch of settings that I've got to change on it. But look at that fire. Isn't that pretty? So, yep, I'm just going to sit here all day with my pretty little hat on because it'll keep my head warm, and plus it'll cover up my yucky hair, and uh, chill out. And I may I may do some vacuuming and get that carpet down. I'm not sure. I don't know if I have the energy because it's going to take a lot of energy to move stuff around so I can get that big carpet in. Um, so I think I'm just going to kind of chill out, stay relaxed, because tomorrow is going to be a stressful day for me. I don't like going into town, number one, and then I'm really apprehensive about what's going to happen with Papa. I want you guys to all say some prayers for me that he's not microchipped, um, and so far nobody has claimed him, and I've sent pictures out and whatnot. Nobody's claimed him. Nobody's looking for this dog. Cody is looking at all of the different rescue places and the pounds and shelters to see if anybody comes up and lists this dog as missing and he said that nobody has reported this dog missing so he thinks that somebody just dropped him off so he's doing great he's eating he he has started letting judy eat without him growling and judy has been eating out of the big bowl and he'll just lay down there and watch her um Oh, I gotta let the chickens out of the yard. I need to let them free range. It's probably, I don't know what time it is right now. Probably close to one. So, uh, I gotta go do that. And I'm just gonna come inside and nest. I might watch some of those, one or two of those uh, DVDs that Donna B sent me. Um, most of all, I got to still change some settings on my phone because um, this is a different operating system. And it's a more updated phone. Um, even though it's a cheap phone, it's a pretty gosh darn good phone. I mean, I like it. I, I'm surprised for under 80 bucks. Yeah. Um, Cricket did a good job with this one. Anyways, uh, I think I'm just going to let this be kind of a, like a short video and, um, well, I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll just see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>